So, one of the things I'm trying to do here at the very least is not take damage. I can't promise we'll be beating this What? Bruh. Alright, we are here today taking a look at a little banger by the name of Keen. This falls into the action sliding puzzle genre, which you will be familiar with if you've seen videos in the past of mine from either Friday the 13 Killer Puzzle and Slay Away Camp. Now, the big major difference, however, being that, you know, in those games you're playing the role of a psychopathic murderer, running around killing people for your own pleasure. Here, here, it's not, it's not as grim. Here, you're playing the role of an eight-year-old anime ninja girl going around destroying people as well, but, but in the upside here, they're actually bad people. Zombies, mechas, trying to destroy the world, and we're here to put that to a stop. That being said, this is also going to be a sponsored video, so as I do with all my sponsored content, I'm just here to play a game, have a little bit of fun, and hopefully entertain you guys along the way. I don't want to sway your opinion one way or the other, that's totally left to your own discretion. However, if you do enjoy what you see here today, I will have a couple of links for you down below in the description. This is available right now on PS4, Xbox, and Switch, and I believe it just recently hit mobile devices as well, so Android, iOS. So if you want to play this on the go, well, you, you know, you're, you're good to go. See what I did there. Carlos, stop! We will be skipping the first one, which is a bit of a tutorial. I mean, who needs tutorials? Who needs to learn how to play? That's what I'm here for. I'm here to teach you what could possibly go wrong. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about, too, is that I do have a couple of codes to give away for this game for free. I'll be telling you later in the video how to go ahead and cash in on those. The corrupts are approaching our isle pretty fast. If you get to the bridge before they do, you can burn it down and shield the village. Don't worry, there's nothing I can't defeat with this blade. Listen to me, young lady. There are real monsters out there. Just burn down the bridge and come back home. And here we have zombies invading. Who apparently doesn't want brains, but he wants grains. So, here we can only slide up. What we're about to do right now is a cross attack. Essentially, a cross attack only does one damage, which you saw right there. If I slide across, that is two damage. He only had one HP, so he took two damage, he died instantly. But then these guys also took damage themselves. Why? Because of the cross attack. The cross attack means that if I land next to an enemy, up, left, right, or down, take damage. Sliding all the way across is two damage. So it's very important to note all that differences here. Now, what I want to do here as well is slide into the same position again to get those two attacks. Here, if I move down, they have made it very simple for me because when we slash across, we get that double kill. So everything is turn-based. When you move, they move. So here, for instance, going up will guarantee we get hit. Going down, guarantee we get hit. So instead, we're going to go straight across. And now he's left himself open for slash across. Now I'm going to move up in hopes that he would have done that, and now we slide down, cross attack, he's stunned, and we kill him. So, one of the things I'm trying to do here at the very least is not take damage. I can't promise we'll be beating this What? Bruh. Okay, that one doesn't count. That one doesn't count. You know why it doesn't count? Because I was over here instead of focusing on the game, trying to explain to you how to play the game. So you know what? Do over, does not count, never actually happened, but it was a really good example now, wasn't it? How we slid across, we killed that guy thinking, well, this is the right move. But we landed at the square one away from that guy moving forward. So as I mentioned, he got the initiative attack. So instead, we're going to go with left, down, slide all the way across, and that's the proper move. Now our boy over here, we do have enough room to kind of slip and slide across, and there it is. So sometimes, even though they give you that juicy attack where you're thinking, well, obviously that's the one. Uh-uh-uh, sometimes it's not the right one. All right, so over here, sliding across is good, and then we're gonna stun the boy at the end, so it's perfectly fine. That heart right there is gonna be our checkpoint. So now, um, if we were to die or we want to retry, we could start from there as opposed to the entire start of the level, which is a good thing. We'll just do that. There it is. And you don't have to stop on it. You just have to slide across at the very least, so... Not that it's possible in that situation at all to actually stop on it, so yeah. So for this one, I'm thinking we definitely got to slide across. We'll stun this dude. Do we take care of him now? I guess we could take care of him, but in place. We don't slide, we just do the cross attack. Let them come towards us, which is great. Now... I think... We slide left. Slide right again. And basically kind of get him in the same loop. Now, sliding down would stun the guy down there, but the guy to the right would then hurt us easily. So that's going to be a bad move. I'm thinking we go up. Take this one, take that one, take this one. Now that's what's up. We got a little bit of a roll here happening. All right, 
Oh, you see that ladder down there? It's not so obvious, but I think that's gonna probably be a different area. Yes, into a special lore. Perfect. So over here, I guess we could probably just. Ooh, 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 don't want to stay here. Slide back across. That right there would have essentially given us uh, some damage right there. Thankfully, I spotted it in time. Alright, so that's a special orb. Can't kill you just yet, nor now. There we go. Well, I love having reason to set things on fire, so let's do this already. Oh, good. Nothing like an eight-year-old pyromaniac ninja girl. So we got a checkpoint over here, and we now do have to hit this up to burn the bridge. Now keep in mind, that's all we have to do, just burn the bridge and go back home. That'll keep the invasion from happening, but... You know, we're a bit of a rambunctious eight-year-old girl. With a sharp weapon. Maybe you're gonna find out what the corruption's coming from. Go to the end of the bridge, take a quick peek, and... Uh, fortunately, it's a one-way trip. Okay, so for this one, we do have a little bit of a different setup here. Now we're going to be hitting some of these switches in order to open up our exits. Beware this way. <laughs> kind of a conflict of interest there, huh? Thankfully for us, this seems to be fairly simple. You come on down over there, get the stun happening. We do have different exits though, of course. It's the Force of Illusion for a reason. Um, I guess we could go right or up. It doesn't seem we could go up to the upper right one. So it's either that one, that's completely above us right now, or actually, no, we can't even get to the right one, can we? No, because we can't stop right there midway. No, no, so it's definitely going to have to be this one for now. Let's see here, what do we got? Interaction point. I think Grandma spoke of this guy before, some sort of prophet. Apparently realized everything was a simulated game and spent the rest of his days thinking about it. Could it really be? Do we live inside a simulation? It feels so real. Oh man, you're breaking the fourth wall there. This seems like a bad move, directly to the right, because Homeboy over there is going to be able to catch us. Can I go up? Yes. Okay. That's the right move. Perfect. Onwards we go. The hell? That... does that... is that a beaver? I think it's a beaver and he's got like pierced nipples or something. Hello, Kim. Wait, what? Uh, how do you know my name? Relax, I've been around. Besides, the birthmark on your cheek is pretty telling. <laughs> just realized he's also handling it. Yeah, yeah, that's the reason why. I gave him the perfect voice. I just realized right now that he's over there popping shrooms. Tripping balls or having the best orgasm of his life. All right, well, this is a uh, fine how do you do. <laughs> I'm thinking we go, well, either one. We'll be able to kill two and stun the next one. But let's go with the up one. This one seems a little bit more safer. I'm also just gonna hang in place here. And then we could essentially stun you. And I think we could follow up too. Now we gotta slip on out of here. We'll do this. Don't wanna kill you just yet. I'd prefer it if you guys just um, would have gone up instead. But now, see, now you're blocking my pad and you'll give me damage. So let's take this pad downwards here. Goes us back to Shroom Popping Beaver with Pierce Nipples. Oh, sweet, so it gives us leftovers if we come back. I was thinking that it would reset the entire thing, but no. So over here, we're good if we stun you. And then that triple kill. All right, nice. By the way, I'm just realizing there's also like all sorts of like toxic ooze being dumped in the water here. Can't imagine that being too good. No. Oh. Chikara Brainwashing and Robots Incorporation. You know, if you're looking for brainwashing, that's fine. But don't forget, we also... Dio and robots. Alright, so we have time at least to slip one more in here. This will be our very first boss fight, which I would like to actually take on. But over here is where I mentioned about the secret paths. We have one of the shrines that our Rastafarian beaver was apparently talking about. Which will give us a special ability to unlock, which we do have enough orbs to get in here. So the Shrine of Perseverance. Okay, so we do have a switch over here. We can do that. Very good. Do I take the obvious path up here, or should I take the other one to the left? Let me take this one instead. Okay, and there's gonna be our power. Oh, hey. Well. I wonder if we could have gotten it from the right-hand side entrance as well. Recover hearts by killing three enemies at once, so... Slip on through triples, we get our HP back. Very good. I wonder if we can use that to negate damage we've taken for levels. I imagine probably not, because he still took damage even if he restored it. So now we have that special ability. 
Oh, sweet. So we get our very first big change of scenery here. So we're inside the Chikara building now. So we got some zombies over here. Slip on through. Yo. I'm digging this song in the background, too. It's got that little Asian type of thing with the really dope-ass beats at the same time. The music, the, the music in the game thus far has been pretty low-key awesome. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do this. Don't want to follow up on that because we'll take damage. So instead, I'll lure you guys a bit towards me. There we go. So we got four openings over here and a locked door. Don't see us going through the left one right now because it's impossible to get to it. What are we looking at? I guess we're going bottom right. Yeah. So we do this and this. Oh. Well, never mind. <laughs> Can't get through that one either. But maybe using this to reach that. There we go. Oh, robots. Apparently he's got a flame head. Intruder alert, eliminate threat immediately. Not if I shut you down first, you rusty piece of scrap. Scrap, not crap. She would dare not say that. Slip on through. Oh, so that keeps you alive for an extra turn. But the slide will still kill you eventually. We have an orb right there in front of us, but it doesn't seem we can actually get it right now. We probably have to go around. Oh, the zombies are in the tubes. Ew, what's with the zombie soup? I think this is where these guys are being made. Gotta put an end to this. Alright. So we have found the source of the zombies in this area. Now over here, do I like to slip across? I guess it's the only move we'd actually do have. So we can just slide back through. <laughs> Alright, so we have a opening down there and this. Let's go up first and then we'll check out the bottom one. Seems more of an alternate route. We have a key. Oh, which will probably be for the first um map. Okay. Do you wanna go up? Perfect. There it is. Now you, my friend. How do we go about handling you? Forward? Yes. And the cross. And the boom. Now that key. That key, that key, that key. There it is. Alright, so let's start off maybe by going... Start going right. Maybe I could... Okay, that's good. That's actually four of them in one go. Which frees us up quite a bit. Now going down is a terrible move here. So we definitely go up. Going right is not good. Am I stuck here? No, no, no. There we go. Just one more now. Which, we can now stun you. Very good. That was a tricky one right there. But getting rid of those four immediately does help out quite a bit. We got our checkpoint now, too. And there's her opening from that side. The Cyberlick. Oh, what do you want, kid? Can't you see I'm busy? You're wasting my time and time is money. Shouldn't you be at school or something? Mister, could you please shut down the factory? You're dumping toxic waste into the river and your brainwash minis are keeping Grandma up all night. Forget it. I have no time for your nonsense, little girl. Guards? Well, I mean, there's no need to get hangry about it. Well, he's got 8 HP, so that means 4 slashes across. I wonder if we have to take his minions out or they're just here to kind of bother us at this point. Well, we can take this guy out now. Take this guy out now. I mean, we might as well get him out of the way to make this easier, I'm thinking. Although, you know what? I don't see a way to actually get to him. To hurt the actual boss. There's no way to stop and slide across where he's at. Hmm. Maybe we have to kill the enemies after all. Alright, let's go down through here. We'll stun you this way. Slide up and stun you. Mm -hmm. Take out of the equation. Do you want to go down, my friend? No. Well, stay there. Stay there. Perfect. Okay. Okay, now he's moving, it does seem. He's gonna take a phone call? We're in the middle of a boss fight! He's got no respect! Oh, now you're gonna summon robots, are you? And you know what? You're in the perfect spot where this guy's gonna show up right now when he picks up the phone. Alright, one more. Oop, tough spot. Oh, he pulled out a knife now! Okay, now he's actually messing- And you know he put up a shield, so now we have to hit him twice, not just once. I don't think you should be brandishing knives towards eight-year-old ninja girls, but hey, it's just me. So how do we play this here? Up is no good. Down, no good, because Homeway will follow up by moving down and hurting me, so I think we definitely have to go left. From here, um, we gotta go down. Let's get some room between everybody here. Now, if we go up, everybody's gonna go up, right? Yeah, buddy. Do that. Oh, no, I didn't plan this one out. I didn't plan it out correctly. Take the shield out, but he's also moving alongside of me. 
I don't think this is a level where you don't have to take damage, but... This easily... I mean, I'm not sure how the boss is gonna work out, but we easily could have avoided damage altogether in that one, so I'm a little bit salty about that. Whatever. Okay. Now, you're gonna go up. Perfect. And he's dead. Alright, so even though we took damage here and I'm a bit salty about it, let's celebrate by giving you guys a couple of codes for free. So, here's how we're doing this. This will be codes for the PC version, which is on Steam. What I want you guys to do is to go to Twitter, tweet me the timestamp where I took damage the very first time in this video, whether it's 2 minutes and 13 seconds, 3 minutes and 15 seconds, whatever time it was that I took damage the first time, tweet that at me, and I'll go ahead and give this, like, 48 hours after the video goes up. And I'll let you guys tweet at me for 48 hours, and then I will pick a couple of people at random to send the codes to. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.